Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to change file or folder permissions on a MacBook or any Mac running macOS. You might want to change the permissions to protect a file or access one depending on your situation. The method will be the same for both files and folders, so whichever you are trying to change the permission for, you can just follow along with the example. If you do change the permissions of a folder, it will affect the access for all of the contents. Remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe if the video helps. Let's get into the method. First navigate to the file or folder you want to change the permissions for. Once you have found it, right click or option click using two fingers on the trackpad to bring up the options list. On the list, find and click on get info. This will open a new window and in here you need to look down to the bottom. You might need to scroll down for this depending on the file information, but at the bottom there will be an option called Sharing and Permissions. Click on that once to expand it, and it will reveal the permissions options. First, click on the lock icon in the bottom right, and then click on Use Password. Now enter your password, and this will now allow you to change the permissions. You should see a list of the current people and permissions on the file or folder. This will likely be yourself staff and everyone. To change one of these permissions, for example to allow others to read and write, select the person or group from the list and then click on the current status in the privilege section. You will then be able to change this to read and write, read only or write only. You can remove permissions by selecting an option on the list and then by clicking on the minus icon below the list. You can also add permissions by clicking on the plus icon and then by choosing a user or contact within the next window. Once you have made the changes, click on the lock icon again. And so that is how to change file or folder permissions on a MacBook or any Mac running macOS. Help support the channel by visiting the store, the link is in the description and at the end of the video. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below. And if you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.